Here we're going to take a brief overview of the animal phylum Chordata. In the title slide image here, we see the glass catfish, which is one of the few chordates with a visible backbone. Now, of course, they're improving on the skeleton. They exhibit a truly internal endoskeleton with muscles attached to an internal rod called the notochord. You see that evidence here in the cartoon image in this red line here. The innovation opened the door for large body sizes not possible of early animal forms. How it looks kind of in real life here, we see a great image um, here where we're looking at the 40 notochord cells are highlighted in red here. Now this is immunofluorescence, so that's why they're glowing red in this image. And you can read about it here, but that's just showing you that line is indicating where the notochord is located in this particular individual. Now I said a large increase in size, and based on if you watch the videos in the correct order, you can see all of these animals are much larger. They all have internal skeletons either made of bone or cartilage, and that is what the muscles are working against. Most endoskeletons are made of bone. We've got a couple here, for example, the shark, where we have set more of that cartilage intact. But most of these contain that internal skeleton made of bone. Now, there's approximately 56,000 species of chordates. They all share these four principal features at least some point in their life. Maybe not at all stages, but at some point they'll have all of these. The presence of a notochord, a nerve cord, pharyngeal pouches, and a post-anal tail. This kind of provides a little bit of a detailed form. Uh, this has an individual here living in an um, aqueous environment, looking at some a little more detail in this case, but this gives you an appreciation for the complexity of some of these animals. Next slide here, I'm going to give it just kind of that brief overview. And we see that here. So we have the four main common features that notochord, that nerve cord, pharyngeal slits, and a post anal tail. And keep in mind, they may, may not all exist at the same time, but in order to fit into this phylum, they have to exist at some point in the animal's life cycle. Now, improving on the skeleton, well, not all chordates are actually vertebrates. There's, these are actually two examples of ones that aren't vertebrates. Uh, tunicates here, kind of a unique look to them, and lancelet here. These are two examples of chordates that aren't vertebrates. When we speak, speaking of vertebrates, vertebrate chordates have two important aspects. This is a great image here. Vertebrates have a backbone that replaces the role of the notochord. See that here? Vertebrates also have a distinctive, well-defined head region. And this is two distinguishing factors for vertebrates that fit under the animal phylum chordates.